All right, chat. This is Ace Combat Seven. I, I, I'm guilty for Ace Combat. All right, let's go. Maxor, what do you got for me? Combat 7 is a game which takes place in the strange real universe, a deeply imagined world in which 90% of the planet is populated by white people. And like most white people with disposable income, the denizens of strange real spend their time creating various gigantic super weapons and arming mutes. In this inspired that is very true. Like, the amount of super weapons that exist in, in the world of Ace Combat is kind of whack. Even though they were... The, the, the years on the calendar is actually similar to the real world. Like, to 1995, 2000, 2017. Inspired story. The Kingdom of Arusia conducts a surprise attack on the Federation of Osea on the continent of Yuja against the Fed... I, I can't do these names, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised they do the name. Like, the country of Erugia is now attacking Osea. On, <laughs> it's like, and they're from the continent of Usia. The naming convention is like, yeah, it, it's kind of similar to what we have in the real world and kind of not. It's it's funny. Uh, so there's like the space elevator. It's, yep, sp it, they space want elevator. the space elevator. Yep, Arusha wants the space elevator. They just want it. And you yeah, are just one of it. the few blessed psychopaths chosen to turn the tide of this war. So whether you're new to Ace Combat or a grizzled veteran, grab a seat and please enjoy an incorrect summary of Ace Combat 7. <laughs> This is gonna be great. I love it because Ace Combat Seven. Like, okay, if you're like an Ace Combat nerd, you will think that Ace Combat Seven has like a really good story, and it does have like good points in it. But I do have to admit that <laughs> the story, on occasion, is a little bit out of this world. It's it's kind of like somewhat rushed in comparison to Ace Combat Five, which, in my opinion, I think Ace Combat Five has like one of the best story in the entire Ace Combat franchise, but man, <laughs> it is still satisfying though. Like Ace Combat, I still find all the joy in Ace Combat 7. Lighthouse. War. All right, men, is the first step in your briefing. Dude, I'm gonna every Ace Combat game for the some subtitles war. at the bottom. I don't know what's causing them. Whole continent's fucked, and we're fucked, and everything's getting bombed. And I think it has something to do with that a giant elevator that we built or something. So technically, when I say everything, I also mean ourselves because we are being bombed right now. You should go into the air right now before you die. You gotta keep an eye yep, out yep. So you keep. Man, wait. <laughs> Dude, this man really loves modding his game, doesn't it? Like. <laughs> When I was watching Incorrect Summary of It was an Evil 4, he also modded, like, his uh, characters. Like, I don't think this skin exists in-game as an official skin. This guy must have, is modding his plane. Keep an eye out for all of the enemy bombers until they die while meeting your incredibly quirky squad mates. This is Clown. He's interesting. All right, guys. So it turns out. Yeah, you never meet him again. By the way, we're very sorry about that one. For some reason, the Russian like military the first two, was able to take over a continent-sized object in about one day, but that's fine. We'll deal with that. I want you guys to like bomb some place, so just go do it, okay? Any aircraft shot down could land in Yep, he's using modded skins. You go to town murdering innocent unarmed transportation aircraft when you suddenly hear a strange beeping noise on the horizon and find out that Obama is an erosion and that he's sending his drone army to strike your Windows hospital and you have to kill them before they reach an innocent Iraqi child but you are able to get to the Iraqi child first invalidating their mission and forcing them to leave Okay, so as it turns out bombing random third world countries isn't actually an effective military tactic and we need to get to the space elevator in order to rescue President Donald Trump who is being held captive there In order to mount a rescue, we need you guys to get air superiority around this Amazon on warehouse it'll be easy trust me oh no he used the trump wild, joke dirty, dirty fuck off clown when you get there you spend five minutes going pig wild in your bumblebee ass ride before you get a bad taste in your stomach because the briefing man was foreshadowing hey guys it's jeff bezos again from the inside of my gigantic arsenal bird and i heard somebody ordered a package from me and I <laughs> okay jeff bezos is an arsenal bird <laughs> i mean look hey hey amazon drone that was a future that we were supposed to head to at some point. So you know what? Amazon Prime delivery will get to you on time. in the Don't form worry, of because I am here with anti the air missiles. You will now die. Cease there you go. Me. High Command then decides that the most intelligent course of action is to engage the Amazon drone hub in combat, but actually they fail to account for the gigantic force fields and also the 30 missiles. What the fuck? There's so many goddamn missiles. And just when. Th I have to admit though, like dodging all the f missiles, like from the drones and everything, like it was. At higher difficulty, it can be like really annoying. 
but you didn't it was fucking cool though it, it literally makes you feel like you're uh what is it a valkyrie fighter pilot from macross because man does that anime love missiles things couldn't go more wrong he arrives he arrives indeed the man the myth the legend In the midst of your retreat, you were not able to prevent the actions of Woman Slayer 69. <laughs> also, you figure out by a cutscene that Woman Slayer 69 is actually the world's oldest incel and is therefore a wizard. All of the drones are based off of his flight data exclusively so that they don't have sex. Yep. Alright guys, it's finally time to go. <laughs> I love Maxors. Go in and save the president. He hasn't golfed in at least three seconds, and that's terrible. I'm gonna go send the mute guy to fly in under the radar or something. I don't know. He can't object to this. So you gotta fly through this annoying ass series of bubbles inside the radar. I am absolutely having fun right now. I'm having what, fun. What? Yeah, never play so far. Never had to elevator, fly through like fucking radar zones. As he starts to land. If you do this for about 20 minutes, I'm serious. Help me. This won't stop. Amazon warehouses starts going clown mode. Liaison helicopter has taken serious damage. You have to save him. There's UAV right there. Stop them. Boom. Take two, take two. Oh no! We killed the former president! Alright, so maybe I so, shouldn't have sent a allegedly? potentially psychopathic mute to rescue the president, but don't worry guys, I take no responsibility for it whatsoever. His punishment for killing the president is that we will send him to a place that is far away where he will never touch an airplane ever again. So they take you to a fucking airfield that's being run by convicts, and the warden's just like, Oh, let's just go send these prisoners up in the air, it'll be funny, don't give them weapons though. So you report to the nice lady whose job it is to repair all the aircraft in the base, but she's probably very surprised when she has to find parts for an experimental XO2 Which is actually also one very huge plot point for this thing a uh, plot hole i say is somehow right somehow one lady one mechanic is somehow able to fix up like all these planes to quote unquote like fly just enough just so that they can act as decoys for enemy nation planes to distract them and it's like one one mechanic like, you don't have any other mechanics on the on the airfield just one Strike Wyvern equipped with high-tech railguns. Who the fuck is this new guy? You fly around the base for a bit without weapons, and it actually is pretty funny until- He already has a XO2 Wyvern. <laughs> he already has a XO2 S Super Wyvern. Man, you know this guy has been grinding, okay? Where he already has unlocked the best plane in the game. <laughs> Several dozen people die tragically in a bombing. With new aircraft and a new base comes new friends such as Belkin, Gambler, just a fucking asshole, Champ, I, I don't know what Champ does, and the Nickelback vocalist. Look at this photo. Because Come on, he's doing how dirty. The to escape is just fine. Like, the base commander was turns ass on a gigantic railgun. In the beginning, but he eventually becomes a pro later on. We begin to astral project in order to look at Woman Slayer 69 and his friends, Jeff Bezos and children, only to witness actual pedophilia. From time to time, what? I catch myself looking at him. They were such enthralling creatures. At <laughs> no! Don't do that! No! This, I swear, that, that, that scene wasn't that bad. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> oh my god. At which point we are able to figure out Woman Slayer 69's true name. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Cornelio Leopold Blas Rafael Mihai's granddaughters finally go outside in order to see the Princess of Arusia and her amazing dog. They have a cordial conversation which they are able to exchange. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't just model the dog, but it had to use a dog JPEG. Dude, this dog got meme to hell and back in the community. Because you have all these like extremely pretty, like these very well made 3D model of characters, and you can't make a single model for a golden retriever? Alright, since you guys don't want to fly away from me for some reason, probably because you want to kill as many people as possible, we're just going to send you on a mission to destroy as many human lives as we can. I'm honestly afraid of you. Please leave this place at once. So you're sent into the deserts of Roca Roja to destroy three different military bases for 20 minutes, and if you fail once, you restart the entire fucking level. Somebody yep. should have told High Roller that before he died. Oh, shit! Someone get this enemy off my tail! Yeah. God damn it, I'm hit! I've got a 
Yeah, yeah like a full like mission where it has no checkpoint because While playing this level, it's a you point, are constantly threatened by the it's warden a point to continue based playing mission. or die. Hey guys, glad to see you back at base again, not dead like I intended you to be at the very beginning of the last suicide mission, but anyways, this time I will be sending you to the totally plausible air mission of flying through rural Chinese valleys in the middle of a thunderstorm to assist friendly recon aircraft. I hope that you guys make it through the- Dude, f*** the thunderstorm of this level, man. Like, I crash so many fucking time because a thunderstorm is struck at a long time, and I fucking plummeted my, my plane to the fucking ground. <laughs> I hate this. Dude, the fight me Holly was- kind of tense not because of having to fight Mihaly because of like having to try to hit him while not plummeting to the ground because of a thunderstorm this mission very safely so that you don't harm my family or anyone close to me so you journey all the way to the scenic yin Shi valley oh my fucking god you move in to assist friendlies who are being shay oh fucking god damn it but seriously the oh mission my. is mostly about escorting friendly you aircraft crashed. why do i hear latin music in the background Yeah, that's right. This is actually a boss fight. Whoa, where the hell are you going, dude? Everyone is very impressed by the air show that you two put on, seemingly because neither of your bloodstreams are actually affected by gravity. <laughs> yep. Eventually, you are able to hit me high enough to the point where he's like, wait a fucking second, there's thunderclouds here. What the fuck am I doing? And then he retreats, no matter how quickly you shoot him with your gun. I'm glad that my plan to kill some of you is partially successful. We got a filler mission for you guys, where we finally figured out a way to utilize your plane-based incel rage. So you're sent in to destroy an oil cool. facility and all of the workers inside. I bet they had families, but that honestly makes it better. A sudden sand cloud appears, and what remains of the survivors board fuel trucks to try and get even the slightest bit of money to feed their charred sons and daughters. You simply mercilessly gun them down in the middle of a storm because i i don't know why why would you do that i have decided i don't i don't know like that that one mission i guess it was all right but man it was kind of annoying trying to find a truck still if you don't actually like uh memorize like the roads how it kind the the general like layout of the roads kind Network in a sandstorm, it can be very hard to try to find them. That I like you all and that your lives are definitely worth preserving. We need you guys to destroy radar bases at the Waiapolo Mountains, but to do that, you need to stay underneath cloud cover for at least 90% of the mission or you'll die. Oh, but I this believe mission. In you. you make oh, your way man. through the claustrophobic valley. Dude, this mission was a f bitch to try to S rank. Oh my god, I hate this mission with a passion. I hate. I don't. I, I, have I S ranked this mission yet? I don't think I have. This is like one of the very few missions in the game where I actually like tried many times to, to S rank on the Ace difficulty, and it's I just couldn't do it. It's so fucking. I fucking hate this mission. He's only peeking above the clouds to quickly take out radar bases before a satellite launches a guided missile at you. I'm serious, hell. Once you're finished with that, I'm a mysterious- Dude, I could not figure out, like, I couldn't remember, like, the fucking layout of the terrain. So this game, the topography map on the on your radar, pretty much on the fucking hell. You just straight up have to really learn the, 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 the mountain range. A serious squadron of friendlies appear on the horizon, who all seem to support breast cancer research and behave strangely. They especially seem to behave strangely as soon as they start firing at you. Guys, I absolutely fucking swear that this time is not me trying to kill you, although it would be convenient for somebody who is definitely not me if you were to die to them. It looks like they somehow spoofed our identification system by hacking about half of the entire satellite array that we possess. Also, Jeff Bezos is sending nuclear missiles to whack your ass. Please move. So you recalibrate your identification system and then kill all of them while being fucking nuked, and that's fine, I'm fine, until it's it's time to kill the very last enemy in the whole area. Oh, this? Where is he? Right up. This is it. All right. I got the last one. Damn it. God damn This it. one. This Bro. All right. So high command is actually going to be dude. Bandog was a cold ass bitch. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't like Bandog, man.
disbanding our unit because I killed the base commander nine days ago and I've been pretending to command the military ever since. Who left the confetti on? Count and that weird mute guy get to be pardoned and enter the actual military because they were so effective at killing everybody that I told them to, provided, of course, that you succeed in your next mission. The rest of us are evacuating to Tyler One Island. The entire mission is simply escorting one Tyler colonel one to island. a different base inside of his plane, and I'm serious, all you do is just protect him. But for some reason, if you shoot him and fail the mission, you get points. This proceeds Dude, for about 15 okay, okay, minutes okay, okay. until you receive an unusual s- I watched Pomu play Ace Club S7, and when she got to this mission, literally the first thing that she did was to f***ing turn yaw her plane around and just started machine gunning this plane that carries the, the base commander in it. Because, dude, f*** that guy, dude. That guy's also an asshole. He's a guy who kept sending us to f solitary because, I don't know, reasons. Signal on your radar. Oh, the, this first drone battle. This one actually is fun. I actually like this. So you fight X-A12, who, like you, has no blood, and seeks revenge upon the land of Osi for okay, he's dead. Hey, congrats on your pardons, guys, Yay. and welcome to the Long Range Strategic Strike Group. Try to say that ten times fast. Our next mission is to strike a group at long range strategically, as the Long Range Strategic Strike will be able to turn the tide of the war if only we could just disable their fleet, so go do that, please. As surprising as it is having a former convict in the squad, it's even more surprising that he showed up in an experimental Erosion XO2 Strike Wyvern equipped with high-tech railguns. Man. <laughs> Dude. Hey, listen. The EML might not be the most practical thing. The railgun is so hard to aim. But my god, when you f snipe any pl enemy plane out of the air with this thing, especially the drones or Mihaly himself, feels fucking damn elating. It feels so goddamn elating. Who the fuck is this new guy? With a new squad and new challenges comes new teammates, such as woman, male, human. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. And like everyone else, I, I don't know, they just don't talk. In addition to killing the fleet using your gigantic lower portions, you target the non-combatant bases that maintain them, filled with people who have children and dogs who will never see their owners come back. All the while, your squad is role-playing as chickens. What the fuck? Stop treating me like a newborn chick. Sure, sure. Okay, guys, oh, yeah, that, that was also really straight. Uh, we're losing the war. We're actually getting annihilated on every single possible. F yeah, uh, somehow, like, after like all the achievements you got, you see, like, oh, yeah, guys, we haven't really made a dent to Arusia because those f two giant birds, mechanical birds in the air, yeah, they're still kicking our ass. Front, and it's all thanks to Jeff Bezos and his two gigantic Amazon drone hubs. Therefore, yep. we have devised a plan Jeff where Bezos we're going to reboot uh, a gigantic cannon in the middle enemies. of Russian territory and then fire it at him. What once killed asteroids now kills assholes. I really don't know if it'll work, but like 90% of the problems that we have in this world are solved by giant super weapons, so let's do it. So you select an A-10, knowing full well that you'll only be fighting ground forces this mission. And ground forces you fight, like, a lot. Like, stop. How Not really, right? You fight a lot of ground forces, but that's only for the first half until you go to the second half and start fighting the arsenal bird. Then you wish that you actually didn't bring a ground-based plane. How did we sneak an entire army into their territory? After fighting for several generations, you look to the sky and hear the sound of money rubbing together. All right, bitch, I heard that someone here was taking a fucking unauthorized bathroom break in my giga warehouse, and I've had it up to here with that shit. You think you'll be able to piss on me with your cannon, but it won't work? Yeah, don't bring an A-10 to this mission. Jesus Christ, exactly. they're all faster than me, and they've already destroyed all the cannon sensors. If only there was some way to aim a cannon with your eyes. So High Command orders you to take out the propellers to slow the drone hub down enough to hit it manually. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? is happening over here oh my god how is wise man supposed to take like 10 missiles at once and not die this is completely fucking insane i can't tell what the fuck yeah. is going on but i NPC probably got the propeller you guys armors, i can't man. tell what the fuck's going on but i think you got the propeller shoot Only the gun them, dude. Woo! all right 
Alright, I see how it is, motherfucker. You want to pee pee poo poo in your stinky ass diaper, but I got money to spare, bitch. I got $12,000 in parking tickets. I'll be back around in my second drone hub, and next time you won't have your shitty ass piss yellow can and bullshit to launch at me again. I love how we've seized like half the Jeff Bezos and the entire bro. military strategy relies on two airplanes. For this mission, you will be inserting a deep penetration munition bomb into the enemy. Make sure that your plane ah, yes. looks like a zebra. It'll be funny. This mission is very simple. All the player has to do is oh, this is magic the spear and slide the missile right in. Also, the music's like fucking sick, dude. It's so good. You take out all it the silos. It is good. Magic spears are really good because they just launch actual ICBMs, anyways. There is absolutely no piece of technology more equipped to intercept nuclear weapons than a fighter jet. So you do that, and everyone's happy that you did it. And it's great. Yep. We did it. Hey, we intercepted nukes. Oh. How can I kill? Oh, oh, he's actually gonna do these SP missions? Yo, that's sick. Dude, the SP missions are pretty damn good. Like, somehow it took place in, like, after, after Magic Spear and some, like, Mission, mission 14, whatever it's called. But yeah, like, SP missions, they're, they're pretty fun. I love them. Oh, one million people. I thought he was gonna do going on with the music. Missions. All right, so the enemy has this gigantic fucking submarine, and I'm talking like rail guns and two nuclear reactors, and it can launch fucking planes. Why would you make a submarine that big? This submarine, previously known as the Alicorn, remained at the bottom of the sea for 698 days, and instead of sending the crew to get psychological help, they just put them back on the submarine, so recipe for success. We are receiving unconfirmed, yep. unsubstantiated, and possibly falsified reports that the crew has come into possession of WMDs, so you need to invade them, like, right now. So you said off in like four of your planes to fight 20 of theirs that makes sense that's fine i'm fine you mercilessly slaughter as many people I admit, as you possibly like, can the SP, SP mission the good guy are and everything you do is to fun. save lives except Eventually, for the third allies one the third one i to make your missiles fly fast find the do, do was they just like add propellant i don't right. know how they do that then you hear something in the distance which kind of sounds like angry children talking on an encrypted radio channel yep they're coming i have to admit like dude this this entrance sequence is cool I have to admit. Also, this is completely by accident, but I was able to instantly kill the boss within a few seconds. Wow. He literally just tanked a missile. You better not fucking cut yourself on that edge there. Eventually, the captain of the submarine is just like, wait a minute, what if we turn on the submarine? That would be insane. Also, guys, I want you to launch the nuke. So while the nuke is in the oven, they just kill everyone. I don't know why they didn't prepare for that possibility. What the fuck do you mean you can't deploy a nuke unless it's on the back of a plane? That makes no sense. See, you spend like a solid minute chasing him down. He walked all over it with his dirty boots over the crisp white sheets of my bed that I had just made. Yo, guys, do you know what's up with like that raving homeless guy that keeps talking on the channel? Ahoy, me mateys, it be me, Captain Tarrez, and I'm here to tell you that you can prevent like 99% of all wars by nuking the capital of Osea. I learned about ye knowledge while stuck under the sea for 698 days while only being able to watch virtual YouTuber content, and now I'm as sane as any old scurvy dog on this ship. Yer her her, it's my mental illness, so I get to choose the coping mechanism. All right, so we're pretty sure that the raving homeless guy has to park in anger. Hey, man, look, if you, we're gonna be stuck down there in the bottom of the ocean for 600 days, you might as well just treat it like a lockdown and just watch some Hololive, baby. Woo! Bay in order to resupply his giant submarine. Just nuke the entire fucking port. I don't know. It's a filler mission. I think I've already talked at length about. What is a filler mission? Nah, come on. You, hey, you, dude. This is like literally your second and final showdown with the Mimic Squadron. It was, it was fun though. Come on, man. The, the, the fight, the fight with the Mimics are fun. Missions where you just kill things for 15 minutes straight and then nothing else happens. So we're gonna move on to things that are exciting. Yo ho ho, on the sea we go. Send this bomb and away they blow. For salvation we fight and the truth we know. I will kill again and again for this virtual hoe. Yeah, so a big part of this mission is actually dodging all the cluster munitions that Patchy the pirate sends at you. Hang on yep. guys, I think I hear a different kind of mental illness on the horizon. Yep, they're here! Dude. Come on, like, dude, you cannot call this a filler mission because, like, Mimic theme song is easily one of my most favorite soundtrack of Ace Combat 7, man. Like, dude, it's so good. You do battle with them, and I will admit, it's actually pretty amazing. I, it I'm is. having fun. Uh, yeah! They, however, it's uh, good. they're, they're not the having fun. Like, we're having fun, but they're not. Oh, he killed Rage first. Yo ho ho, I see you having a dramatic moment here, but I'm about to bomb you to David Jones. No, no, I 
So you oblige her just this once, only to figure out that Captain Torres actually ended up resupplying while you were distracted by them. And get this, he did it in five minutes. Exactly. Five minutes, all we take, baby. But I, I genuinely like the, the Mimic Squadron theme. Because, especially because, depending on, like, who you kill first, the theme will change, right? So, the initial theme that kicks on when you fight both of them at the same time is the normal version, which is also already very good. Then there's the Rage version, which if you kill Scream first, Rage version will play. And if there's also the Scream version, which if you kill Rage first, then Scream version will play. Because it depends on who lives, who dies first, right? And who lives. But yeah, it's really cool. I I listened to like all three versions, and I really like them. I really like all of them. It's really good. Canonically. All right, guys, is anyone able to guess what kind of weapon Tor has loaded onto a submarine? Not who am I kidding, of course. It's a nuke. It's always a nuke. He's gone completely course, rogue from the Erujian military, and they are no longer responsible for his actions. Based off of his insane homeless ranting, we were able to figure out that his intentions are to nuke the city of Ored and kill a million people in an attempt to end the Lighthouse War. Please don't let him do that. The war is really profitable. So you set out to protect the planes that are dropping buoys to locate the submarine, and how many fucking planes can fit inside of a submarine? You eventually find the damn thing, and everyone shoots at it to make it surface. Then you shoot at the submarine, because, like, what else would you not shoot at it? Also, of course. Um, yeah, just shoot it. Voice. Dude, they literally like did this, this Alicorn like fight because they want they wanted to re-experience what it's like to fight the Shin Faxi and Herm Faxi back in Ace Combat 5. Is uh the real voice actor for Torres is even better than that. Then he fires his main guns at you, an aircraft. Yep. Everyone's acting gangster until the water starts speaking Latin. You go in for one last attack on the ballast tap. Oh, 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 oh. Then he deploys dude, four. The, dude, those fucking like barrage of missiles, if you are not careful, that thing's one oh, one kill combo oko you. Like it fires like six or like, seven like missiles in succession, and if you do if you get like caught in the middle of the barrage, like three, four will literally sink will just sink you to the bottom of the ocean. Force fields, like, how did he get that? But just before you were able to destroy the ship fully, Taurus sends please. a message. Uh, Yar har har, and here we are. We surrender. Please don't fucking kill us. Okay, but you'll have to like hand over all your anime in the nuke. The what? The fucking nuke, Torres. What else would I be talking about? No, 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 no. The other thing. The anime? <laughs> Torres, you have to hand that shit over. It's like a hazard. <laughs> We live in a society! If I can't watch Marine Chan on YouTube.com, then no one else will! Fuck, I missed! Kill that mute son of a bitch right now! Make your screen shake a lot! I will flood the back of this submarine to give the gun the elevation it needs! One million lives! You should have just let me kept my anime, you fucking skunk! <sighs> Good times. Okay then, we are planning on conducting a long-range assault in the Erujian capital of Farbanti. In order to do that, we first have to capture an airbase at Cape Rainey. We need your planes to raid their defenses undetected, so your only option this is to travel fun. through a narrow canyon. I actually canyon. like good this luck. mission. So well. you fly in through. It really tests like how well you're, how good you are at maneuvering your aircraft and how you're, very, how good you are at yawing and and stuff. Really fun. The valley and past all the spotlights. Do they not like hear anything? Hey, bro. You see me? True. Like, that's the thing, right? That's also one thing I was wondering as well. Like, oh yeah, just don't get detected by the, the spotlight and then you'll be fine. Bro, you're you're flying fighter jets at full speed through a fucking cannon in the middle of the night. Um They they should be able to hear you, but yeah, you know what? Never mind. It's just a win. Jets. What? Then you commence your attack, and for once things actually go pretty smoothly. You protect OC and Marines as they enter the base and capture it swiftly, bringing pizza. Wait, what? Pizza? All prisoners of war will be treated in accordance with international law. Pizza. All right, Yay, guys, pizza. that was surprisingly easy. It's time to take the capital of Farbanti. This is in conjunction with an assault on their satellite array that will not backfire. We're going to be taking the city like we take any other civilian settlement that we come across. Violently. Farbanti is a downright amazing level, but unfortunately that means I don't get that much to talk about. It's just like a big fun sandbox where you kill everything and it's like yep. 20 minutes long. Farbanti's what more fun. can I say? Just look how beautiful the level it- wait, no, I hear Latin that, again. Yeah, here that? it is! Yeah, I bet you bitches forgot about room? me and my epic theme music, but I'm back and I'm rebranded. I'm a new man. I'm no longer Woman Slayer 6. As I've had sex just as she goes to a different school than I do. I am now simply racist instead of sexist. 
You fight the guys who arrive late to the most important battle of the war for no reason, so your commander Wiseman decides to bait me high into a chase. How is an incel supposed to have grandkids anyways? Okay, first of all, I am no longer an incel, as I previously stated state my sex woman goes to a different school, and second Woo! of all, my son was a Nice flying, Maxor! No, for real, that was all right, good so Wiseman may be a bit fucking dead, but it's fine, it's not like the sky is falling man. or anything. Oh, fuck me. I can't even access racistforums.com, this sucks, I'm gonna leave, see ya. Alright, so the game decided that it was going to escalate things even further than it already had. Has. The entire world satellite mm -hmm. array has been destroyed by an exponential cycle of debris caused by you shooting at their satellites like a fucking child. No one can tell what's going on. Nothing makes sense. No communication gets through. Yeah, no like one listens to high command. Okay, this part about like all the entire satellite communication like going offline. This one also kind of confuses me when I, first, when I play it for the first time. It's like, wait, wait what? Like, how the f*** does that happen? Like, they, they also gave like pretty bullshit excuse. It, it feels like... It feels like this was just simply a convenient excuse plot point for the developers to develop the next few missions where uh you have where you had to like fight in the dark man and we're go i guess we're just gonna keep shooting people let's we're just we're gonna do that all right man our only option is to intervene in a bloody civil war that will inevitably lead to more harm than good i have no orders to do this by the way it's just fun a defecting colonel is attempting to give us the coca-cola recipe so we need to have him survive this mission involves carefully escorting the colonel through a dark city identifying yep. every single target before you fire okay well I, I guess he's dead now awesome now unfortunately mute guy uh, we actually don't have the resources to court martial you again so we're just gonna forget that ever happened at this point our only option to win the civil war is to take out jeff bezos still active gigantic drone hub yep. but in order to do that we have to not starve to death a bunch of cool internet skeptics have separated from arugia and they call themselves the liberalists i don't know just take their fucking lunch money they're nerds so you go for an easy and fun raid on their castle yep. attempting to secure the coca -Cola lunch inside. Money. you start to notice that you get like, points you know. for destroying tents full of refugees but we're going to ignore that just like the <laughs> that he points that out, i was like holy oh, totally sh** He's right. He's right. Like, dude, you can actually get poison just firing on like tents full of refugees. Developers. Oh god damn it, not against the fucking Latin music. What the fuck are you guys doing in my house? I just want to be racist in peace. Can a man get some peace? I told you I'm not an insult anymore, so I you mean, don't gotta This is like the, the last fight in the Oh, it's time to move the light speed for no I reason. You know, I don't actually like the drones. Oh, fuck a missile. I actually got 50% off all Amazon purchases in exchange for my help in creating the drones. It was sweet. It just kind of sucks how he wants to take over the world and all. Actually, I just realized I have to live in a world without internet, so can you kill me? Jeff Bezos and Jack Dorsey are gonna restrict my racism on the internet. You have to kill them, please. Man, I sure do wonder what Mihai's doing these days. I bet he enjoys the gift cards, though. Building a robot army gets kind of boring sometimes, and I need to find a way to transmit my new schematics to the world without a satellite. Wait a minute. I'm- I'm inside of a space elevator right now. I need help! Don't let him dab his balloon! You're a genius, Jeff. So anyways, <laughs> I stole the old incels fucking airplane. Both sides of the Civil War are now engaged in battle to seize the space elevator. But we yep. are here to stop Amazon's takeover. It, ha it happened, like, very conveniently and very abruptly, where, like, two sides just like, Oh yeah, let's just, you know, stop fighting each other, and now just stop the Arsenal bird and the space elevator. And it's still a really fun mission, nonetheless. Like, this mission was really cool. Of the planet. So naturally, he sends his capitalistic big nukes to you. Kind of weird how many missiles I can fit onto this propeller propelled aircraft, but that's just a free market of work, guys. Why the fuck are you sending so many goddamn missiles at me? You've all forfeited your prime subscriptions. <laughs> oh no, the little baby doesn't have his gigantic fucking piss can to kill me. He can't do it. Also, I've installed a laser that I failed to mention or make use of until just now. With no. The laser is literally this. They just ripped the idea from the fucking arc bird options left you are forced to take on the arsenal bird head on and every time you do he uses the force fields jesus dude stop it jeff bezos eventually figures out that he can just keep the force field on forever like why wouldn't he but he forgot one crucial detail the force fields are a subscription service fuck when i said cancel everyone's subscriptions i didn't mean my own stop doing that right now or i will be forced to lobby congress i will never pay taxes as dude, long as i was an hey guys, amazing bgm though need to get a cup of tea while i get my subscription back on fine then i guess he'll just have to fucking kill me and not have any more amazon warehouses to give me books and hulu and shit time to fucking starve little boy And with that, the last hope of Jeff Bezos' world takeover is destroyed. But vengeance is another matter entirely. Exactly. Here comes the two bastards. Dude, 
the Hugin Moonin fight is really really fun. It is. I I know that they fucking cheat. Like these motherfuckers just straight up like pull up maneuvers that you will never be able to pull off. Like as a player, as like a as a human, like, they absolutely just straight up cheats. But man, it's so fun to fight them. Especially at higher difficulty because they're a lot more aggressive. So it just forces you to really, really get good at flying and dogfighting in this game. It's really fun. So you fight two new drones hugging and mugging in an intense battle for the fate of the human race. You struggle with them for minutes on end, attempting yep. to prevent them from uploading this. First time I fought with these motherfuckers, I think it took me like 10 minutes. Schematics to Just the fight world, me which would only ensure the defeat of mankind. Eventually, you gain the upper hand on both of them because you you don't have any blood inside of you. You race into the tunnel to reach the space elevator and, and yep, stop the, the upload, tunnel dodging, level. Closing doors, Classic for any speed, Ace Combat. Reaching the inner sanctum with less than one minute to spare, you launch one final missile and end the robot child once and for all. Ripping your controls, you take the perilous climb to the top of the space elevator to escape, plunging into the deep blue of the sky above. And once at the top, you feel... Relief. You look up to the sky above and you think that heaven might be up there, but you don't know for sure. You hope Torres is up there. He seems like a nice guy if he wasn't totally insane. You remember yeah, all the people that you've weeb. left behind on your journey. Champ, High Roller, yeah, never mind, actually, you don't remember any of them. You think for yeah, a moment I, that no I, matter I what you really find on the ground, high roller love, as well. a house, a good job, it'll never be quite the same as this experience. But there is one thing that is pretty close. Petting a cute dog and not being dead. You Ooh. really want to pet the dog now. Pet the dog. Uh, a Maxor video. Always amazing. You can always count on Maxor to make some entertaining YouTube videos. Uh, especially when he does it on a game that I generally enjoy and I love as well. Even better. Literally, literally even better.